A double kidney transplant survivor from Lawton has found therapy in the kitchen, and it's paying off. For the last few years, Teresa Hargrove has been entering and winning cooking contests, and right now she's up for a chance to win a trip to one of the most delectable cities in the world, Au Paris. Seven News Nights nice reporter Catherine Giese stepped into the kitchen with Teresa to sample her creations and learn more about what it's going to take to get her to Paris. Catherine? Dave, Teresa entered a contest put on by Philadelphia Cream Cheese called the Delicious Dream Trips. They're giving away three trips, one to France, one to Italy, and one to Greece. Teresa's dish has already been tested and picked by top chef judges. Now, as a finalist, she needs our votes to send her on a second honeymoon with her husband to France. She's hoping to soon pack her bags and maybe even her utensils and jet set to Paris, all because of one cleverly named dish. I named it Fly Me to Pear, P-E-A-R, in parentheses, I-S, Fly Me to Paris, Onion and Cheese Tart. On Monday morning, Teresa woke up to a text message from one of her foodie friends in New York. Her friend told her she'd been picked as one of the five finalists for the delicious dream trip. When she found out, she couldn't believe it. And I want to tell my husband, pack your bags. I'm taking you to Paris. I'm taking you to France. Cooking has always been a part of Teresa's life. My mom and dad worked 10-hour uh, days, and we grew up, I was in, we lived in the country, and my brother was 11 years younger than me, and so I raised him, and, you know, mom was tired. She worked at a factory. But it wasn't until a life-altering event that cooking became therapeutic. I was one of the first paired kidney donations in Oklahoma. Now, developing recipes has become a way for Teresa to live healthily with her new kidneys. I had to watch my sodium intake, and I had to watch the processed foods that, that we ate, and it really made me aware of how much processed food we eat. Teresa worked her magic for me in the kitchen today. She showed me how to make cornbread muffins she calls mini bites of Mexico. Make sure it's mixed up really good. And I've sprayed my muffin tin over there, and we're making mini muffins today. After one bite, it was clear why Teresa's in the running for the trip of a lifetime. And she knows exactly what she's going to do first if she gets there. I just want to go smell. And I know, honestly, that sounds really goofy, but, you know, just walking down the street and smelling the bread baking and, and the, the crepes being made and everything like that. When you're a foodie, you just, that's all you think about is food. I just voted for Teresa and her Fly Me to Paris tart, and you can help her out too by visiting realwomenofphiladelphia.com and clicking on the pink banner at the top of the page. Back to you. Thanks, Catherine. And you have until July 1st to vote for Teresa and help send her on a delicious dream trip to France.